I'm here to record the best books I read in January. And yes, I'm wearing the exact same thing as I was wearing in my stack in the shelves because I'm recording this right after that. Because as I mentioned in that video, I've been very busy. And so I'm trying to just get all my recordings done right now. Um, I did read five books in January that I really enjoyed. Uh, so the first one I read was Faded Blades by Alona Andrews. And that's the third book in the Kinsman universe. And this is kind of a collection of shorter novels, longer novella length type of books that are part of a science fiction world called the Kinsman World. Um, the Alona Andrews husband wife writing team releases these fairly sporadically so they can be years and years between them but I really enjoy them and they have not been releasing very many books lately so I am very excited to just be able to get my hands on a new book by them and read it and it was very well done. I enjoyed it a lot so it's always got a little bit of a romance in it a lot of action, a very cool world. Um, I think they really excel at world building and action scenes and having good couples. Um, so that was very enjoyable. The second one I read that I really loved in January was Vinland Saga Volume 12 by Makoto Yukimura. Um, finally, this book has been take it, it took forever to release and I am so happy that it finally did. This was one of the like more happier uplifting volumes in the series and it was also somewhat shorter um, but I really enjoyed it and I am excited to see what happens in the next volume because this seems to be kind of starting at like a new chapter in the series. All right and then the next two that I have on the list were part of the same series but I just really enjoyed both of them and they ended, both ended up getting five stars. And that is The Clockwork Boys and The Wonder Engine, books one and two in the Clock Tower War series by T. Kingfisher. Um, these are the, so I've read three or four books by Kingfisher now, really enjoying her as an author. Um, Ursula Vernon is her other name that she writes under that she does more like kids and middle grade stuff. And these were just fantastic. They had a lot of action and adventure and some really fun characters a lot of humor um it is kind of a fantasy world that's a little bit more steampunk leaning um it's a group of if you like like dungeons and dragons pathfinder you'll you'll enjoy this the the characters are kind of stereotypical you have your thief and your paladin and your um kind of roguish sort she's like a forger or something uh, going on an adventure, they kind of get pressed into a venture to go stop these clockwork boys who are kind of automaton type creatures that are starting to attack the kingdom and hurting people. It was very well done. I enjoyed it immensely. It was so much fun and the world is well built. The characters are amazing. As I said, lots of action and fun and humor. And I would highly recommend it. And I, I'm definitely going to be checking out, I think she's got another like paladin series she wrote, um, so excited to read that. And then the last one I read this month that I really enjoyed is On a Sunbeam by Tilly Walden. And I should have grabbed, actually, here, hold on. Let me just grab it. It's right here. All right. I should have pulled that up. But um, this is a graphic novel by Tilly Walden, who writes a lot of other graphic novels that I'm blanking on right now. Um, I like this very much. This is well done. It's it's pretty pretty hefty. But it's about this girl who goes um, to join a like restoration crew. They go out to different planets. It is science fiction. They go to different planets and they restore like old buildings and, and stuff like that. And it's very interesting to kind of see the history they run into. But it alternates not just between her doing her current job, but also goes back into her past to show some events that happened when she was in a boarding school and why she left that school. And it all ties up very nicely. Um, the crew that she travels with is amazing. They go on a lot of interesting adventures and see a lot of cool worlds. And I really liked it. It's very, it does have some romance in it. Um, it's just really good. <laughs> and it's very weird too. Like, I don't even know if I can find, but like the spaceships that are designed look like fantastical alien, like goldfish and stuff like that. So. It's a little bit crazy and out there, but it never felt like it didn't make sense. I don't know. It was really good. And it made me want to check out more of Tilly Walden's books because it was just really, really cool and well done. I was trying to find a 
picture of one of the spaceships because they were, I mean, the whole thing is done in just a very interesting stylistic way. And I'm just sitting here like paging through and not, you know, and they run into things that might be magical, but might also be not magical, like mystical animals and, and stuff like that. So, oh, I think I just found one and then I page past it. No, that's not it. Well, anyways, take my word for it. Um, it's pretty neat, and I would definitely recommend checking it out if you like science fiction and you don't mind it being a little bit like fantastical science fiction kind of out there. Well, here's a picture. Well, it's hard to see. Anyways, that's kind of a picture of one of the spaceships and stuff, but I really liked it. Um, I got it for Christmas, I think, for my mom, and very well done. I would re recommend it. So that's what I read. Um, to be honest, January, I read quite a few books. I think I read like 20 or 24 or something like that. And a lot of them I didn't like very much. It was a very mediocre month of reading. I think I gave a lot of three-star reviews, which I'm normally kind of a four-star review person because I almost like everything because I like reading. But this month was not, not quite as awesome. Um, so hopefully February will be better. Uh, that being said, I hope that you guys had a lot of great books that you read in January and if there's any you'd like to recommend please feel free to comment down below. Um, I try to post reviews every Wednesday and Saturday and I'm marginally successful at doing that. Uh, Saturday again will be a stack in the shelves and then next Wednesday will be a best, well not even best, but just adult steampunk series that I've read and talking about that. Um, and it will be my last video in that series of steampunk videos that I started a really long time ago and meant to finish up like mid last year and finally finishing up now. Um, okay, so that's all I really have to say. Hope you have a great month of reading and I will talk to you later. Bye.